Hey guys, welcome to my 37 week pregnancy vlog. I am sorry it's so late, but I have just been so crazy busy lately and I've been promising this hospital bag video for so long. I finally got a chance to film it and show you guys everything that I've packed for the baby because I am full term now. So that means I could go into labor technically at any stage. I'm not going to do a full pregnancy update just because there's not a whole lot to update you guys on but if you are interested in symptoms that I've been having and stuff like that it's pretty much the same as the other weeks but I'll put everything on my blog. This is my bag, my hospital bag. It is the pink lining um, navy bow hold all. I think that's what it's called. I'll link it down below but it is huge and it fits everything. It also has a big strap that goes all the way across. I'm not going to be carrying this realistically. Jonathan, my husband, is going to be carrying it but um, it's a gorgeous bag and it's so good for like weekends away or anything like that. That's the bag that I'm carrying with me. It's a lot cuter than my last one which was just like a carry-on suitcase. So let me show you guys what I have packed inside. Okay, so here's everything I have packed for baby. So I've got some nappies, some newborn nappies, which are probably not even enough. It's They recommend to bring 30 nappies because you're in there for three days. These are 23, but I can just ask Jonathan to nip out <laughs> if I need to. Then I've got the Baby Kind Giant Pads. This is what they recommend to clean the baby instead of like baby wipes or anything. When they're newborns, you know, you just use water and those thingies. We actually had them from Amelia. Then we've got the receiving blanket, which is just this soft grey blanket that we got from DPAM. That's probably going to be what he'll be wrapped in when he comes home. And then I've got a couple of baby grows. So I have so many baby grows. The reason for this is because they spit up a lot and poop themselves a lot, so you always have to be prepared. So I've got four baby grows here, which I showed you in a haul. Um, I've got one from Debenhams. Jasper Conran one, another one from Debenhams, and then one with little whales on from Carter's. Then I've got two Gerber baby grows that I got as a gift. They're just yellow. They're actually like unisex. And then we have, I think, five pairs of socks, little newborn socks. I got these in Next, just five pairs. I've got tons of vests for the same reason that I said before, just in case he wrecks them. I have four, I got these in next too, they've just got little like cars on them. Four sleeveless vests and then four of the same kind but these have sleeves so they're just short sleeve vests. I've got a hat which I got from, where did I get this, Zara. That's for when he comes home. I've got three muslin cloths which are from Aiden and Anais, I think that's how you say it. And then I have his baby be mine maternity baby grow with the matching hat. That matches with all the accessories like my gowny and my nighty and all that kind of stuff. That's just kind of for pictures. So that's everything that we have for baby. And this is what we have packed for mommy, for me. My maternity pads. Now I have two packs of them. Last time I ran out, they do give you extras if you need them, obviously, in the hospital, but um, that actually wasn't enough even for last time. So just conscious of that. But again, Jonathan can pick them up if I need him to. There's a pharmacy like across the way from the hospital. So got my wash bag, which I will show you the contents of later. I've got my hair dryer. This is a travel hair dryer, just a babbleless one. Just in case I do wash my hair. I'm not really sure yet if I am going to, but just in case. I've got my brushes in here. They're actually, that's empty right now because I'm using them, but that's where my makeup brushes will go. My makeup bag, which I'm not going to show you guys because there's tons of videos that I've already done on what's in there, so you can watch them if you're interested. I've got seven pairs of maternity underwear or just underwear that I don't really care about because your underwear does get destroyed. <laughs> I've got three pairs of socks, just regular socks, two nursing or maternity bras. They are the motherhood clip down sports bras, I think they're called. I'll try and link them below as well. I've got a razor. I just bought a new razor. I don't know. <laughs> I may or may not use that. I've got my shower puff. That's actually a Soap and Glory one that I bought new just because I thought it was pretty. I've got all of my 
baby be mine maternity stuff. So I've got my gowny, I have my matching pillowcase, my matching dressing gown, and under there is the matching nursing nighty. That will all be linked down below as well. So that's to match the baby's little set that I showed you. I've got my towel. I like to bring just a beach towel, one that I don't really care about that much because again, it might get wrecked. I have some Femme Fresh um, Intimate Wipes. I didn't bring them last time, but I did get an episiotomy. I don't know if that's gonna happen this time, but just in case, it's nice to, you know, feel fresh down there. So that's why I picked them up in boots. Then I've got a little laundry bag just for my dirty clothes. And then I have Baby Be Mine Nursing and Maternity PJs. So they're just gray PJs and you can nurse with them and they're really comfortable and really soft. So that is everything I have for me. And then also in the side pocket of this bag, right in here, I have nursing pads or breast pads. Um, not too many because my milk doesn't my milk doesn't usually come in until the last day that I'm there. So last time I packed tons and I didn't actually need all of them. But that's what I have just in case I just stocked it full of breast pads. Finally, here is what I have in my wash bag. So this is all my toiletries. I've got my toothbrushes. I bring three just in case. So I have one for me, one for Jonathan, and then one spare. I've got my perfectly clean cleanser. That's my Estee Lauder cleanser. It's a full size because I couldn't get a travel size. I have Estee Lauder's Double Wear. That's a travel size, like sample size version of it. And I've got my eye cream, which is the Night Repair Eye Cream, also by Estee Lauder. And that's another little sample that I got. Then I have two travel size uh, versions of the Simple Wipes. That's what I use to take off my makeup. So that's perfect. And I have a travel sized deodorant. It's the Nivea Pearl and Beauty. That's the one that I use anyway. I've got a travel size dry shampoo by Batiste. This is the floral blush one. And this saved my life last time I was in the hospital because I only wash my hair twice a week anyways because it is quite dry. But that's all I did was I just used this stuff with a brush and I kept my hair clean for those three days. I have the Elemis SOS spray. That's just to kind of keep your face fresh if you're like sweating or in labor. I have two sample or like travel size versions of the Clean On Me Soap and Glory um, shower gels, which I had last time in my hospital bag too. I have the Aussie Miracle Moist and Aussie three minute miracle reconstructor. There are two little travel versions of them. My shampoo and conditioner. I have extra white gum, just in case, because I do get heartburn and all that fun stuff. I've got my little lip balm that says keep calm and have a baby. I got that from Baby Be Mine. My toothpaste, which is the Oral-B 3D White, and some Stretch Mark body butter. This is from, um, what is this? Bloom and Blossom Anti-Stretch Mark Body Butter. So that's what I have in there because you you might still get stretch marks after giving birth. And last but not least, I have my Tangle Teaser, my hairbrush. And that is everything in my wash bag. So that's everything I have packed in my bag. Also wanted to show you guys my 37 week belly. So I will do that now. So this is the belly for 37 weeks full term from the front the side and the other side and I finally hit the 30 pound mark I finally am at 145 so I've officially gained 30 pounds so far this whole pregnancy I hope you guys like this video be sure to check out pictures on my blog like I said and if you have any questions leave them down below I will be happy to answer them I'll try and answer as many as I can I have done this twice now well this is my second time technically I've only done it once before but it's my second time so I am happy to answer any questions you may have thank you for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next one bye